Hi everyone. Today is January 4th, 2023. And if you know what that date, the January 4th represents, that is um, Scott's overdose date. Or we could say the day that he went to heaven. Um, so this marks four years since Scott's been gone. Time's kind of flown by. Um, but I wanted to hop on and share, just share something with you guys. Because <laughs> Scott would want me to. I'm pretty sure God wants me to. Um, and I was thinking about what I wanted, or what I was supposed to share. And I feel like both God and Scott <laughs> um, told me just to close my eyes and think. And the two words that came to my mind were peace <laughs> and light. And, you know, when someone, someone dies well before they're supposed to, um, or a tragic kind of death the way Scott did, peace and light don't really go with that. You know, you don't think of those words. And maybe at first I didn't either. But on this fourth year of his passing, I really do feel like I'm filled with peace. Um, just that peace that I know he's in heaven which I know heaven's real and I know he's in heaven with Jesus and the peace that I know he's no longer struggling with addiction and no longer struggling with all just the worldly things that we go through on a daily basis. Um, things that he just couldn't, couldn't control. He's no longer struggling. He is free in heaven with Jesus and he is at peace. And then, you know, the light part. All I can think about when I think of light is the amazing light from Jesus and just how bright that light shines. And if you've ever experienced that, you know that it's all encompassing and it's that peace filling light, that loving light, um, the light that we all just want to be in and want to stay in forever once we've experienced it. So I think those are the two, the two things that God and Scott both want me um, to share today. And, you know, Scott wasn't perfect. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are watching this and are like, um, why are you taking the time to talk about Scott? But, you know, he wasn't perfect. I'm not perfect. None of us are perfect. You know, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. Um, and you know, when I, I think of us sinners and Scott, uh, I, sometimes I'm reminded of the woman at the well, Mary Magdalene. And, you know, she was labeled. No one wanted to hang out with her, but Jesus met her at the well where she was and he loved her <laughs> and all her flaws. And she knew, she knew when she met him that he was Christ, that he was the savior, that he, that he loved her. <laughs> um, and I just think about how sweet that love was between Jesus and her, you know, that sinner. And he loves Scott and he loves us. And no one, no one's sins are too dirty, too unworthy, too gruesome, too, too shameful for Jesus, you know? So if, if any of you are feeling like that, that what I just described um, pertains to you, just know that it's not true. That's of the devil. Um, and Jesus loves you and he sees you and he wants you to come into his light and be filled with the peace that only he can give you. So if you guys feel like you need some support uh, or some peace, you can reach out to Listen, Let, Pray Foundation. Um, a big part of the reason we formed Listen, Let, Pray Foundation is this guy right here, Scott. He was struggling our family was struggling um, and listen the pray foundation was formed um, kind of out of all his ex out of all of his experiences and our experiences um, with him and his friends so if you need support um, reach out listen the pray foundation is here for you and we would love to support you in your healing journey um, because like I said, no sin is too dirty, unworthy, um, that he can't make new and make a beautiful story out of. 
just like Scott's story. So I hope this has reached someone and just know that you're seen, you're worthy, you're worth it, and that Jesus loves you.